Okay, so we're going to take the houses, drop it over here as a table, read on the table, enable selection, and we actually just want to see some of the fields so we can remove the other ones, click OK. This would create a table on our page with some of the data about each one of the rows. What we want to do next is take a pop-up and add it to our page. Okay. And inside the pop-up we want to show the rest of the details of the specific row we're standing on. So we're going to insert inside the pop-up, for example, a panel window. Okay. And drag um, our houses control again in here let's say as a read-only form and this time we can show all the fields like that okay go back to our table now what we need to do in the table is add a component that would actually allow us to click on something and show the details um, of the row so we're going to take a link component I'm going to right click, drag and drop it on top of the ID. Notice that I copied um, the value that is currently there. And I'm going to say convert to link. So instead of having a text item, I'm going to have a link item. And I'm going to paste the same value. Um, one thing we might need to do now is remove the convert number to get rid of this little dot here, red dot. So that's. Now we want the link to actually show the pop-up, so we're going to take a behavior or an operation called show pop-up behavior. Drag it onto the link and specify which pop-up to show. So if we're using the edit, navigate to our pop-up okay, and specify to do it when the action is blocked. Um, save everything and run it like that. Now, okay, so now when our page comes up and we click a specific house, um, we'll get uh, the information about the house. Now, one thing to note is that clicked on 65, I sh I've seen 65, but clicked on 69, I still see 65. Now, this is not what we want to happen, so. Let's try and fix this. Um, well, two steps that I need to take in order to make this happen. First one is to tell the pop-up to update itself, or update the data in it, whenever someone changes something in the table. So this is done via a partial page rendering. So I can do it either directly on the pop-up or on the panel form inside it. Let's do it on the pop-up. Um, look up the property called partial trigger, and um, the connect this one to the table. Next thing I need to do is I need to specify that the content delivery, instead of being lazy, should be immediate. Can I save everything? Okay. And I switch back to my page and I reload it. If I click 71, I get 71. And if I click 79, I get 79. So previously what happened is that I needed to do two clicks. So what I did is just one more change. Instead of having the partial trigger defined on the pop-up, it's now defined on the actual form inside here. Okay. So I'm not actually refreshing the pop-up, but rather the form with information. Now when you actually run the page, you just need to do a single click on a row to get the specific row. Okay. 